Just yank the top bunk out of the trailer, why don't you? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I've got this window tore apart and I've got some new backing for around the kitchen area because this stuff just isn't cutting it for me. I'm not liking it too much. It's too fake. I want fake, but I don't want too fake. And as you can see, as you can see, this is way too fake. So let's get putting something in here that's not as fake, I can call it. Yeah, not as fake. Not as fake's always better than fake. Oh, I got a new arm for a Mavic Mini drone for someone that I have to install. If you want to see that, leave a comment down below. What would you? So I know that I don't have to do this, but I want to do this because the countertop looks fake marble. So why not put fake marble on the wall? Check it out. Let's see how good this matches. I haven't checked it yet. Hopefully it's not dick and doesn't come close to matching. That would suck. Are you ready? Boom. Check that out. Almost a perfect match. Friggin' right it is. Oh, that's gonna look absolutely shitty. I can't wait. So I've never installed this stuff before, but it says all you gotta do is wipe the wall down with some alcohol, cut her with some scissors, and Bob's your uncle. So let's let's give it a try. I'm just gonna wipe the wall right here, wipe it around here, wipe it with the plug, you know, get make sure you get right into the plug. There we go. Good enough. So now is we're going to cut this straight as we can straight down the smallest area possible so i would say right about there now hopefully it feels like cuts not too bad i would suggest using something a little better than what i'm using you know because i don't know how straight this is going to be but we're going to find out right here shortly just make sure you keep your eyeballs on the ones you're cutting off on the straight line there oh that way it should be pretty straight by the time you're done there we go perfect now over here, you should be able to peel and stick this bitch. Not too sure how to peel and stick this thing, to be honest with you. Oh, peels and sticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, freak yeah, it's stickier next. Make sure you get in the right spot in the first shot because it's sticky. Oh, man. Freaking plastic's in the way. Come on. Let's not fuck it up because it's too expensive, eh? It's like 40 bucks a sheet. Or I guess that's for all of it. Oh, yeah, it sticks good, Jim. Oh, lady, does it ever. It'll come over a little bit further. That's why I had to pull her back off there. Gotta make sure she freaking ding-dongs and whatnots over here. There we go. Hey, look at it, boys and girls, peoples. She's decent. Oh, yeah, it is. Look how much better that looks. Oh, lady, how you doing? So now that we got that one done, I should have started on the other end. Because what a waste I'm going to make here. But it is what it is. It is. So we got to use this one here. And we only need like two rows. So let's cut them off right now. Because there's no sense in wasting a full one. So we'll throw that over there. Oh shit. It pulled too hard. Okay, let's go from the other side. Now when you're pulling this, make sure you pull slow or you rip it. And if you rip it, it doesn't look right. Frig. Hold on. We might have to get a new piece. Kind of dicked her over, Captain. Yeah, that was no good. Let's save that for something else. Nope. Oh, frig. Nope. 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 Uh-oh. Okay, so we need that one. Okay, now let's try this again, but this time go nice and easy. You don't just ramrod the thing right apart, because then we'll just cock it over again. Easy. Easy. Careful. There we go. All right. We did it right this time. So now what we want to do is we want to line her up with that one. And then we stick her in, and then we go, how are you doing? See that, boys? That's pretty freaking neat, right there. Oh yeah, we did. Next. Next. So now we need, nope, nope, that one. So we'll use this one right here. This is what you call recycling. Oh, you know what? That's not the right one either. What the hell is the right one, Jim? None of these. We get decked over. We might have to use a full one for this one. Because I think we've got to come up the wall now. Oh no, we don't have to come up the wall now. Frick, I don't want to use that. Come on, one of these have got to work. 
Aw. Frig. Well, that was definitely garbage. No. No. Frig. No. 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 No, no, none of these work. They have to use a whole other tile. Why wouldn't I have to use a whole other tile? Frig. Oh well, hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta use a whole freaking tile you do. It's all part of the game. But I'll be able to use that somewhere else. Come on. Nope. I'm getting aggravated. My peel and stick aren't working. My fingers are Come on, baby. Here we go. All right, we got her this time. Oh. We'll put this down here, like so. Here we go. Hold on. Gotta make sure we're following the groove here, we do. There we go. Decent. Hey, we're getting rain decent. Next. Okay, so I'm gonna need a piece off of one of them. We'll do this in a minute. Let's get this, oh, we're gonna have to step up here too. Oh man, you mean to tell me that I have to freaking step up each one? Gotta do what you gotta do, you do. So, actually I can get down in there, can't I? Sure I can, kind of. So line this one up like this. Take your marker, get it where you need her, mark your plug, let it move in, like so. We have to notch that out. Then we gotta mark this off. So we wanna mark right over here. We just wanna trim that piece off. So we'll just take a little scissors here and we'll just trim just a, you know, eighth of an inch, quarter inch off, not even eighth of an inch off there. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. So now we can take our knife and we gotta cut that out. So let's get a knife. So when you're cutting this, you just wanna make sure you cut on some cardboard or something so you don't dick over what you're not supposed to cut. And why does that look so crooked? You better double check this. Yeah, I knew it. I'm glad I double checked it. Something ain't right here. I'm gonna go here and here. Okay, line to line. Line to line. There it is, John. You friggin' did it, boys, girls, peoples. So now that that's done, we can peel it and stick it. That was the hardest cut of the whole deal. Right there. You believe me? I would. This is a true story. The only other thing too is you don't have fingernails. This sucks to get apart. Peel. Stick her in. Very carefully. Get rid of this clear plastic. It's cocking me over. Careful. Holy. Come on. Ah, oh, careful. 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 We'll get her. Don't worry. Careful. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's start it first. Get her started. And then we'll do it. There we go. We got her. Captain. Friggin' right, we got her. Look at that. Would you look at it? Almost like we didn't know what we're doing or something. Get rid of this. This plastic just cocks you really. Get rid of that goddamn plastic. Look at that, boys, girls, people. <sighs> so we need one block in here to fill that gap to make her look norm. Because we'll probably end up seeing that. So what color comes after that one? I don't really know. This one. Yeah, let's use this one. So we'll just cut this off and then we'll cut this off here. And we'll take this sticker thingy and we'll pull it off and we'll stick her right here like so. Look at that. Almost like I knew what I was doing or something. There you go. That's how you fix that piece. Did you see that? Probably not. It's the same one as that one, so that's not right. But once I get that trim back on, you're only gonna see like that much of it. Next. So the next one we need is this one right there. And we gotta do the same thing. We gotta trim off a hair all the way down her. So I wanna trim off a boat that much all the way so we can keep the flow going. Gotta keep the flow going, Captain. There we go. That's it. We did it. Feel? Oh, hold on, let's get some light here. Careful. Oh yeah, now we can see, boys. Girls, peoples. Why didn't I turn that on before? Holy, look at the difference. Now I can see what I'm fucking up. Let me tell you what, though. I'm not fucking up nothing yet. What a dick to peel. Okay, here we go. Line her up, stick her on. Oh, careful. Line her up, stick her on. Here you go, go all the way up. That's it, and there it is. Then I'll freaking go this way with her. Oh, look at it, decent. The only thing that's not decent is this thing down here is all cocked over and warped. I know how to fix that too. I'll show you after. It's called cocking. There you go. Next. You're gonna do this to me for real. Okay? You're gonna make me double cut. Should've started in the corner. Oh boy, did I ever dick myself right over. Sure did. Oh well, what are you gonna do when you live in a shoe, Jim? Not too much. So if I was smart, I would've started from this corner, went this way, because now I'm gonna have to try to piece in to line it up properly. <sighs> Frick. I ever make myself more work. Oh well, sometimes that's the way she goes. Sometimes that's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she fucking goes, boys. This clear is not the way she goes, boys. Irritate the shit out of me. 
perfect. We're lined right up. I'll tell you, for 40 bucks, this stuff's gonna be mint. I'd buy that for 40 bucks. So now what we need is we need a hair. I wish this stuff would go around the corner. It won't, eh? It just won't go around the corner. So let's trim this plastic off and we'll see how much we need. There's no easy way around this. This is gonna be a pain in the nuts. All I need, I need this piece. But at the bottom, I need less of that piece. Cause that wall ain't square. <laughs> of course it's not square. Nothing in the trailer is square. There it is. So now we're gonna have to piece this all in because as you can see, none of it's connected. Oh brother, what have I done? Sometimes you gotta give yourself more work to make it work. That makes sense? Hope so. See, give yourself more work to make it work. Captain. You'll never know it. You have to really look for it. Do you believe me? I wouldn't. You'll have to really look for it. Captain, I don't mind really looking for it sometimes. Freaking right, I did. Oh, hold on, we gotta go this way. Yeah, I did. There you go, Captain. That's how you do her. Now, this one, we can carry right on with it. Kind of. I'm gonna put a bead of caulking down that wall because this ain't gonna pass my satisfications. It's not too bad. Just that one spot right there. Can I put a little doodad in there? Oh, I can't put a little doodad. Let's put this little doodad in there. Hey, sometimes just get a little doodad in there. Not bad for my first time. Here's the next question. Should I go up one more? If I go one row, it looks like it's supposed to be there because I'm all labeling. I think we'll go one row and leave her for now. Until I change my mind. Which I could do. You never know. Yeah, we did. Green right, we did. Okay, now we can put that piece in there. And I should be happy with that. Let's try it. Should be happy with that. It sure looks a little brighter in here with the friggin' dark color gone. That dark color was dark. Did I tell you that? I tell you how dark that color was? It was dark. That color there, it was dark. Careful. Gonna make sure she's lined right off. She looks pretty spiffy. Oh yeah, now the wall's going up. Like I said, trailers, they're crooked and dicks. But it is what it is. Or white caulking. I like the white caulking idea. That way it'll keep the water down too. Leave your comments down below if you think I should go white caulking down there or if I should piece, put a piece of trim down there. Clear your minds want to know. I'm thinking white caulking because that way we don't get shit all over the place. Sorry, I'm going to block you off for a second. You have to. I just have to do it. There's 3D in this brick. Well, that wasn't 10 sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fuck, it was 10 sheets. Holy, we tend to sheet at this bitch. Where's the marker? Here we go again, marking stuff. So we want to go here, up there. So we want to go to here. And then we want to go, oh, you bastard, you moved. Why wouldn't you? Here to here. Straight edge. Let me go get a straight edge. Oh, here's a straight edge. I'll use my window trim. It's going to be pretty straight, right? What do you think? Tell you the truth, I don't care what you think. That's straight enough for me. The only way we're going to tell if it's not straight is when we put it up, it doesn't look straight. There you go. She ain't straight. Oh yeah, I'm cocking it right over. Crooked her dicks. Hey, you know what, boys? It's a trailer. It's supposed to be straight. That's pretty damn straight. I think we'll get away with that just fine. And you know what? If you're Mr. Low Budget House Renovation, this stuff would work pretty good for cover up that old ugly tile you got around your friggin' kitchen. And let me tell you what, this stuff is dirt cheap. Like, I'm talking $43 for 10 pieces. You really can't go wrong with that. I don't think. Let me know if you think I'm wrong with that, but I really don't think I'm wrong with that. That's not too friggin' bad. Okay, I guess we're doing half and half here. There you go, Joe. And that's how I roll. Check that out. Huh? Modernize the kitchen a little bit. Not quite the same as the cabinet, but that one is. That one might be. That one, no. No, it's not the same, but hey, you know what? It looks pretty friggin' decent. Holy, I'm gonna wipe out on this stuff. It's like stepping on ice. Gotta be careful. Kinda gentle. Quite a gap down there. Not not really happy about that. It is what it is, man. Like, what are you gonna do? But this is what I'm gonna do. Trim this back so we can put the frame back on. I think I'm I'm not gonna go out one more right now because I haven't got enough. So we'll just trim this off so you can put the window frame back on. Watch your fingers when you're doing this now. Be careful there, young fella. You don't want to cut yourself. Careful. Easy. There's that piece I added. You gotta be careful with that one. So I added that one, remember? Yeah, that one right there. There we go. There's one side. Next. This stuff sticks really, really good. Like really good. I'm impressed actually by how good it sticks. 
stuff are right there. Now when you're cutting this, go one way. Don't saw it back and forth. Just push one way. Because that way it cuts easier. There you go. Just like that. Now we can put our window frame back in. Can't wait to show you how this looks. Wrong way. No, it's not. You ready? Good. Ready? I said. Come on. Are you ready? What is going on here? Are you ready? This thing ain't fucking ready for nothing. What are you caught on? Honestly. There it is. Okay, see, are you ready? I am. There I am. How's that look? Pretty damn decent. Screws. Lots of them. One. And you know how it works from there. Okay, you can go straight, crooked, deep, short, anything you want. Anything at all. What do you think of that? I think it brightens up a lot. That's what I think. Wife will look at it and she'll go, what you do? I mean like nothing. I don't see a difference. I can. That's all that matters. This just made this trailer worth $24,000. Taking out the bunk might have took a little value off it, but I kept everything to put the bunk back in if I want to put it back in. I didn't make it so the bunk wouldn't go back in, let me tell you what. Put it that way. I got all the bunk in the back garage. She actually come out not too bad, besides a few things I had to change or had to cut off, but hey. Holy fuck, is that ever crooked? So there we go, that's that. Anyways, that's putting up a light and efficient backsplash in your trailer. It doesn't add much weight to the trailer and gives it more of a little 3D-ish look. Now, like I said, I need to uh, caulk, maybe put some trim up, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. We'll figure that out together. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification. Leave me any comments down below and let me know what you think. There we go, border up to cover where the old bunk was. And that done, and cocked. Look how much better it looks cocked, Jim. Yeah. Huh? Decent. Two jobs done.